Hi Scorpio, we'll get straight into it and have a look and see who's coming in potentially for you. Scorpio, who is your soulmate? Who's coming in, their personality, attributes, characteristics, what sort of attraction you have, share. Okay, Priestess of Solitude. This is someone who's quite a thinker. They could be quite deep and spiritual. They're very much ruled by the mind, ruled possibly by head. So analytical, practical, logical. They like solitude. So they could be a little bit mysterious, a little bit enigmatic, Scorpio. And I think this is going to appeal to you because you can be this way inclined also. I feel like spiritually this person has some sort of outlet that they follow. Maybe it's a life guru. Maybe it's a tarot reader. Maybe it's a religious um, uh, religion or cult even. But this person is involved in something that makes them withdraw a little bit. So again, this mysterious um, energy is coming in with the Priestess of Solitude. Could also have air energy in their chart. Gemini, Libra or Aquarius coming through here with the Priestess of Solitude. <clears throat> they, they like to reflect and think and ponder um, and really assess where they are in life with the priestess of solitude um, they might only have a few select friends and that's it they mostly keep to themselves it's in that way priestess of success march 18th to april 14th 14th these dates may resonate for some reason for some of you this could be when the two of you meet i feel like this person has a lot of success around them success in relationships success at work success at career success in their creative pursuits they're quite ambitious and I've, i think they've seen the fruits of their um, ambition so they've enjoyed some sort of success or will enjoy some sort of success within their lifetime here i think you you'll be very driven to how powerful this person is i think in their line of work they're quite well revered well respected and i think this is what's going to make them more attractive for some of you i feel like this person you might meet through work or through some sort of success financial success <clears throat> abundance prosperity is circling around this person and this could be when the two of you connect or what brings the two of you together with the priestess of success they're a high achiever they aim high um, they're very driven and motivated and when they put their mind to something their mind is very very powerful they're a big believer in thoughts become things because they're driven by the mind and anything that they visualize anything that they see in the mind they can hold in the body so to speak they're a big believer in that and they've they've achieved a lot of success because of their beliefs okay the priestess of shine they have a sort of a, a magnetic attraction to them and they, in a way, they shine. Now, this could be just to you, Scorpio. They may shine, they may glow to you even, but they have this sort of aura about them that you'll really appreciate. July 8th to August 4th are the dates that resonate with the Priestess of Shine and this shows that this person is going to shine light on you or shine light on certain areas of your life where you'd like to improve or change or alter or amend this person is going to help you do that so I think you'll be evolving and learning together hand in hand you'll very much work compatibly to with each other for goals and higher purposes here and they're really going to shine to you they're going to be a star in your eyes very strong connection here Okay, ritual, they're a traditionalist. They like things kept to tradition. <clears throat> I feel like with the priestess of ritual, she symbolizes rituals or events that happen habitually or consistently. I feel like you might have even shared a past life together with the priestess of ritual. You might have been connected somehow or know each other already. So you might have been, you might just be changing cycles. See how there's a lot of phases in the moon here? It's almost like you might change cycles with this person. So you might already know them, Scorpio. They might have been even been in your past, in your recent past, or they may be a friend right now. But there's cycles that you'll embark on with this person. It could be cycles of learning and evolving on the spiritual plane. Or with the Priestess of Ritual, this indicates you'll be sharing a lot of anniversaries or traditions together. <clears throat> Tradition, sentiment. They could also be quite, um, quite have pagan beliefs still. Or um, beliefs in nature. 
in the natural world, ghosts, paranormal activity, etc. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This is the glory of Ra Atum, blessings of <coughs> money, success, and new opportunity. This person is going to be very, very successful in life. And I think this is why part of their success is going to allow you to shine in a way, is going to bring you out of your element somehow. But they're bringing blessings with them. So I think when, when they come into your life, you'll be receiving a lot of other physical blessings. The pentacles are all about the physical realm. So money, material possessions, um, gifts, spoils, etc. You'll be receiving a lot of this from them and they'll extend their hands. See how you can see the hands of the sun guy, Ra Atum. You'll experience their level of success. So anything they're going through in their life, they'll share it with you, Scorpio. You'll very much be a part of the, their success. Anything that they embark on in their life, you'll be the first one there to experience it with them. Queen of Chalices. Queen of Chalices is wisdom, emotional growth, wise wiseness and foresight. This person could have Premonitions be a psychic or a medium of some kind. They may have some sort of gift of foresight into the future, whether through dreams, hunches, intuition, cards, um, horoscopes. I feel like this person is, I think that has to do a lot with their mysteriousness and their need to withdraw from the world. I think because they're either highly empathetic and they feel their way through life, they feel things other people don't feel on their, or they're in tune with things other people are not in tune with with the queen of chalices they're coming forward as someone like that um, they want to grow in love they want to experience a connection a very strong connection and i think you'll be able to give them that scorpio i don't think they've experienced it yet with the queen of chalices it's almost like when you meet you might have a dream or a hunch or synchronicities but something will give you foresight into your future with this person, Scorpio. So I think it's important. Pay attention to your dreams, the numbers that are reoccurring around you or the sequence of events or whatever it is that is repetitive or just seems a little bit odd or intriguing to you. Write it down because I feel like you'll have a glimpse into the future with this person. Okay, Two of Swords. This is not about conflict or crossroads. The Two of Swords in this deck is symbolic of protection, collaboration, and friendship. This is the two of you on the same wavelength. When the two of you come together on your first meeting, everything will just click and fall into place. I feel like you're both ready to, ready to explore a relationship because you're both on the same wavelength. So it's not as if one will be in a relationship, the other one will be pursuing their dreams. I feel like you'll both be brought together at a time when you're ready to embark on a partnership together. So there's nothing holding you back. There's no obstacles here because the two of you will be in alignment from the minute you meet or when you come together, when your energies come together with the two of swords here. This does rule friendship as well. So for some of you, this person you might already know or they might already be in your life. But for others, this person come, is coming in and they'll be ready. You'll be ready. They'll be ready. I'm inclined to say that there's a soul connection here, a metaphysical soul. Um, either you've already lived lives before and your two souls are coming back into alignment together once more. It could be that very strong soulmate connection here. This person is ready for you and you're ready for them. This is quite powerful. With the Ace of Chalices, very nice. Also emotion. You're emotionally protected by this person. This person will be emotionally protective, emotionally available and secure. Okay, the three of pentacles, earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. They could be a skilled negotiator. They could have a way with words, a way with people. This might be what they do for work. They negotiate, they bargain, they banter, they trade, imports, exports. They could be in the selling industry maybe in retail selling um, bargaining pitching products pitching services i feel like again they report to a large group of people and they need their approval or their signature or the green light they need that go ahead with the three of pentacles 
I also feel like they, you'll be mediating with this person quite a fair bit or negotiating something in the physical realm, where you'll live, what you'll do. I feel like there's a lot of compromise here that this person is willing to embark on. This person is willing to negotiate, compromise and make sacrifices for you. It's powerful with the three of pentacles. Could also be religious as a church here. I'm almost inclined to say they might be like a believer in the paranormal and spirits and ghosts. Okay, full card. Aries energy. T taking a chance. Taking a leap of faith. Embracing. They want to embrace whatever comes their way. They like. They're quite optimistic. I think Scorpio. They like to look at the to look at the best in a situation or bring out the best in a situation or the, bring out the best in a person with the full card here. They're quite adventurous. They crave adventure. Again, I feel like they just love being outside. They love being outdoors. I feel like they feel there's something out there for them in the stars. So again, this comes back to their ambitious nature, I think, with the full card here. Again, for some of you, there's a, there's a trip or traveling. This could be how the two of you connect or how the two of you meet when you take a chance on things, when you go on a journey. This could also indicate this person is continuously on a spiritual journey and will be for a very, very long time coming. They're quite spiritually enlightened is what I'm feeling. Okay, two of cups, there's an engagement or marriage happening here and what looks like a church. Some of you may be meeting through a wedding or through an engagement of love of some kind here. This is someone who's coming in, as I said, they're ready. They're ready for the commitment. There's nothing standing in your path. I think there might be negotiations that will have to be made or compromises of some kind here. But I think for the most part, the two of you will, will connect on such a wonderful way and the both of you will just be open and ready and nothing will be standing in your path because it'll just come so naturally and beautifully leo energy here could be someone in the medicinal industry as well or someone that volunteers their time possibly for those that are ill or unwell Okay, the Page of Pentacles. Again, Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. There's stability with this person. They're stable. Mentally, physically, emotionally, there's stability and consistency. They'll prove themselves time and time again because they hold true to their word. They follow through with their beliefs. What they promise, they will follow through with this. They're very honest and they, they act this way so that other people can act this way back to them is what I'm seeing with the Page of Pentacles here. And when they, I think they'll be very fascinated or mesmerized with you, or you'll be mesmerized with them. There's a certain delicacy and an appreciation that they'll have for you. Um, they'll consider you very fragile in a way. But I like that because I think they're the type of person that will take you under their wing, Scorpio, when you are feeling vulnerable or withdrawn or not yourself. I feel like this person can really step up and be. Um, a superman or a superwoman to you is what I'm seeing here. So they can really anchor you down and be the person that you're searching for. Let's have a look when this person is showing up into your life, when they're coming in. What will be happening around you around the time frame when they show up or confess their love? Okay, purity. October 28th, November 24th, these dates could be significant. Priestess of purity. So this person is coming in at a time where you are ridding yourself of toxic behavior, toxic habits, toxic thoughts, negativity. It's when you're stripping down and you're becoming pure, clean, withdrawn, cleansed. This is at a time when this person is coming in. When you're honest with yourself about what you want, when you have self-love and appreciation, and you've, then you will attract this person into your experience. So purity. Pure thoughts, pure intentions, without ulterior motives, without manipulation, without dishonesty, when you've come to a really pure place of yourself, Scorpio, a really raw place of, within yourself is when this person will come into your life and change your life potentially. So look, I will leave it at that. It's been an amazing reading, Scorpio. Thank you so much for joining me.